Well then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Helldivers. This is probably the best thing that I've played in a long time. If I had to describe this in as few words as possible, I think it would be that this is the Halo ODST game that we've always bloody wanted. Or at least I've always wanted. And you can pick from a wider range of weapons that you unlock as you progress, as well as these little stratagems pretty much known as drop pods that beat the piss out of things or help you. You're about to see why I'm so enthusiastic about this game. And by the way, this is the hardest enemy type I'm choosing to showcase first. And yes, those are actual players in the background that you can see in their ships. So it's essentially my job to get down there and capture it without being discovered. I can be discovered, but I sure as shit don't want to be. You'll see why they're the worst of the worst, assuming we find any. And I'd rather we didn't- SHIT! Damn it! Well, there's that bloody ghost. Right. I really didn't want to be finding these guys already, but uh, that's the way it went. Shite. These guys are resilient. To such an extent, it isn't even funny. And when they get alerted, they drop from the heavens and just rain hell upon you. No, 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 no. You see, they have so much health, you've got to kill them before they raise the damn alarm. And if I want to actually get out of this alive, I need to stay right here and kill them as they arrive. If you're curious how this controls, by the way, it's essentially a twin stick shooter. My god, will you stop? Okay, I'm running out of ammo. That's my last clip. Oh god. Might want to ring down some ammo. No, I'm stuck using my bloody- Oh, thank- the ammo just killed them, and that grenade didn't kill him. Damn it, why isn't there more friendly fire on this? Let me get- no, pick it up, numbskull. There you go. They somehow both missed. Jesus! I mean, I get it. Truly, I do. I've invaded your planet, and I'm trying to take control of it, so naturally you're gonna keep sending people, but Jesus Christ, there are so many of them, I don't have the ammo for this! And I can't call down another ammo drop quite yet. No, get away, don't! Damn it! I'm going. I'm leaving. That's it. No, I'm I'm going to activate this first. Screw the damn lot of you. This is this this planet's called medium difficulty. This is medium. This isn't listed as challenging. No. This is this is medium. This is the take it easy on you when you get to know the ropes mode. This is what this is. Oh my god, they're bloody That's it, I'm just activating, I'm getting out. Getting out of here. Goodbye. Oh I found a sample. Me getting absolutely buggered and having to run for my life actually paid off. They're following me. Horribly well. Get out of it. They have everything that you'd never want to actually go up against. At least now I'm out here I can call for some damn ammo. At least there's that. That's the one solace I have. What's that? I had to run for your life and now you're on the other side of where you didn't need to be. Kill, 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 kill. Oh wait. Oh, thank god. Oh shit! These cyborgs are no joke. There's a reason! Give me my ammo, I'm off, I'm off. No, let me move! You asshole! Let me move, let me move. I'm getting out of this. I don't give a goddamn. Jesus! But this is a stressful game. It doesn't seem it. It can, it can seem cute and kind. It's a twin stick shooter, it's kind of not all too horrible, but it's just... When you play it and you get surrounded and overwhelmed, my god, does it leave you feeling more helpless than a kitten in the middle of a goddamn dog kennel? Right, that's a patrol killed without being detected. First time for everything when you're fighting the cyborgs. As said, the- no, 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 no. Jesus. You see, the other races, the other alien factions that are absolute assholes, I'm surrounded, the other factions die relatively quickly. They're not quite as, um, fortified, strong, dickish. As these bloody cyborgs are. I mean, it goes with the territory, right? Cyborgs that they- Oh, God. That they'd be the bloody meanest. I mean, I'm fighting T-1000s to the bloody hundredth degree. Really, really, really don't want to be discovered by these things. You've, you've already seen what happens when the alarm goes on. Don't want that happening again. Please. Please. Oh, no. They're going to the place that I'm going. <laughs> oh, great. Well, at least I know they're coming. At least- oh, But they can- t Oh. This is a very exposed area. They can come from all sides. And me focusing on this one equals me not being able to see the others. Oh god. No, 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 don't- Oh, great. If I can just hold the air, if I can stop alerting more of them! You know in Metal Gear Solid, when the little goddamn goes off? Yeah, you know that? Yeah, you know that? Well, that can only go off once, right? And only one lot of people can come after you? Not this game. No, this game can send- Oh god. This game- You! God damn it, god damn it, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, for God. I literally just got up. This game can send multiple patrols after you. Stop camping my bloody body! I'm gonna go down with the ship in a minute. Get off me. Okay, if I spam the jump, I can get out of it. And we're leaving again. Oh, turrets. Oh, turrets. There you go. There's my friend in need. 
And if you're wondering why I'm crawling, it's because that turret is not designed to avoid me. If I am in between an enemy and it, it will not give a shit, and it will blow a hole through my tits. Oh no, no, turret, turret, hurry, quickly. Oh, you just killed the guy who would set the flare off. I love you. I absolutely goddamn diddly door you. <laughs> I love you. But here's the problem. My turret isn't going to recharge for quite a while, and I need to evac. And when I evac, they are going to- they're going to swarm me. Turret, I bid you adieu. Have a oh, I won't bid you adieu, I need your help. Well, at least they were slightly taken care of. Although now my ammo is surrounded by these bricks. At least wait and- oh, no, come on, follow me. Pick it up, 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 Jesus. Get to the water, get to the water, get to the- Shit! No, 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 oh god. Okay, I got myself up in time. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're okay, we were good, I'm dead. Great. Fantastic. Awesome. Thank you for dropping me exactly where I just was as well. That's safe. Yeah, thanks. I think it's safe to say that with the name of this game, in the later stages, I don't have a chance in HELL of ever succeeding without at least dying 20,000 times. This is medium difficulty. Allow me to say that one more time for you, medium difficulty. This isn't even challenging. Seriously. Wait, I think my turret, my turret has indeed recharged. Get down there. Ow, 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 you dick. Did my, did my turret, my turret did come down. And I was on fire, did, oh god. It just missed me. Will you give me a break? Serious, seriously, this is ridiculous. I don't give a shit, I'm too far from the fucking landing zone. Turret, kill them, not me. Oh my god, this is a war zone, this is what I mean. Can you imagine if I, if I had to do this without a turret? Can you even imagine that? I can't, I can imagine it's just gonna be a blank screen saying game the fuck over. You see, it was quite nice, cute, cuddly, and you know, every now and then it would throw you a hardball. But mostly it would be kind. It would be doable, it would be manageable, it would be... acceptable levels of not that much of a dick, but just a bit. Whereas now, it has thrown the unholy servants of hell against me at every single bloody turning point, and I don't even have the firepower to stop them from raising an alarm. That could have crushed my turret, isn't it? Yeah, it did. Oh well, don't need it. You see, this is exactly what an ODST game should have been. Drop in, complete objective, get the hell out. And that's what this is. And it isn't easy. Oh, that, oh sorry, that wasn't medium. That was easy difficulty. I'm sorry, I lied to you. That was easy. Not medium. <laughs> that was easy. I'm not, usually I suck at games. This one I like to think I'm actually competent at in some form or another. This game, however, doesn't give a shit about what it says on the box. If it's easy, it ain't. This validated the purchase of my PS4 before Bloodborne is released. Because I thought it was gonna be, oh, there's nothing released for this bloody thing that I wanna play. Then I found this. Thank you. Thank you, Arrowhead. You've made an amazing game, and it isn't 60 shitting pounds. I'm in the snow and can't run. I guess I can run on this? Oh god. This is essentially like walking in the water, only about 50% of the slow? Oh, this ain't good. If I can't run, then I can't escape. Oh no! Great, I didn't see it. Great. Just... Yeah, this is... Have you seen the variety in the enemy design? Oh god, I fucked up. I fucked up horribly. Reload quicker. Jesus Christ! Okay, let's just make sure we can see the top of the damn screen. So if any of those little hibbity bibbity bobbity bastards, like that, turn up and try and get the alarm on me, I can stop them. By the way, if I want to change my perk... Oh god! If I want to change my perk, then I've got to get rid of this laser aim module. I don't think I'm going to do very well with that. Will you piss off? Oh god. Oh no, get away, get away, get away. No, no. Oh god! Jesus Christ on a bloody shiny tiny bicycle! I need to defend my turret, which is supposedly usually made to defend me. You see, on this planet, turrets get destroyed. Yeah. Kind of just like that. What the hell? What the hell are you? I've never seen you before. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> Hi guys! How you been? Oh god! It's also worth noting, if you didn't know already, because I'm an idiot and forgot to mention it at the beginning, this game is multiplayer. You can play it with people, I just didn't go on the multiplayer option first because... I don't know, I wanted to suffer in solitude. <laughs> I wanted to show you that this game is actually doable by yourself. Oh my Jesus, Bet Midler tits, what is going on with this? Why did you have to... Every time I am inputting a command to those little libbity bibbity bobbity bastards, 
fucking set the alarm off. It's really annoying me. Fun fact, when you reload, Jesus, you actually get rid of the ammo left in the clip. So it's not like, hey, you've got 100 bullets in this clip, and if you reload with 90, you still get the extra 10. No, if you reload before you should have done, you're going to lose that ammo, and you're going to kick yourself. Okay, bring the hell bomb down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Oh my god, if I can kite them right back to where they currently are, then that can hit them, and that can kill them every time. What the fuck? Well then, screwed that one up. Arm it and run. Arm it and run. You need to run more than this or that's going to kill you as well as- Well, snow planets suck. I guess I need to call two of them down? One to get rid of the shield and one to- Oh my god, why do they have to keep turning up? Why? I'm asking, in sincerity, why do the stupid goddamn Kamiyamiya guys have to keep turning up to ruin my day? Oh my goodness. They just don't stop. They just don't. This needs to be played multiplayer at this point. I'm going into multiplayer after this. There is no way I'm playing the single player again. No way. Right. Activate. Don't be destroyed. Don't get buggered. Th they're all about to die. Oh. So am I. I- I could have killed him right there. I could have easily just killed him. J oh, come on, I've just joined in your bloody leave it- <laughs> Congratulations! You just killed yourself! Congratulations! Unbelievable! I guess, yeah, they were waiting for him to revive before leaving. Oh, he's fucked. He's fucked. Oh, God! <laughs> died right as- Oh, everything that could have gone wrong for those guys did. Everything that could have did. One got squashed by the evac ship, one got laser beamed to death right before setting foot on it. There you go. You can suggest missions too. That's, that's cool, I like that. Oh, we're gonna go for it? Oh, awesome! Off we go then. Assuming the other guy wants to join us, which he does. Isn't this cool? Isn't the way this is set up cool? Isn't this just a good game, top to bottom, start to finish? So am I gonna get to see all of us fire off? Yeah. Yeah, I am. I don't know why, but I really appreciate all the little details in this game. The onboard lobby screen being you, the player, being able to do everything you could when in single player. The suggestions for missions being clear, concise, fluid, and simple. Everything about everything about this game is amazing. I can't stress it enough. Oh, we're locked onto the same screen. Oh my god, good job there, fella. We're really locked onto the same screen. Okay, multiplayer isn't quite as amazing. But, it's still good. Okay, it may seem limiting that it's tethered, but honestly, this actually isn't all that bad. Unless, of course, what he starts doing happens, then it's a bit of a dick. Oh, God. I almost just got crushed by the pod because I wasn't paying attention. I was like, oh, a laser. <laughs> hey, look where I am. So, oh, shit. I'm about to be crushed. And again, I love the fact that you can customise the way your characters look, because then, hey, look, multiplayer, we look unique-ish, somewhat. I've got the wrong cape on. Oh, bugger. What the? Why did you just walk into that? Why is everybody being freaking idiots? The objective's this way, Dingle Ducks. Look at the bloody map button. It's the biggest button on the controller. Press it. You can see where you're going. Oh, we're calling for... What is that you're calling for? It's gonna land on you if you're not bloody careful. I think it's the drone that's been following us. Yeah, it's that thing that he called. Oh, God. It's still got the alarm off. It's still got the alarm off. Why are you one-shotting things? Have you got a sniper rifle? Go, go, go. The D-pad is to say things and communicate with players when you're not putting inputs in for the... Jesus, when you're not putting it in for other stuff. So you can have to communicate without even the need for speech because you've got this. Like, excuse me, somebody explain to me why this is not in more games. Why the D-pad is not just simple communication. Why isn't that what Destiny's is instead of wave, dance, dick around and fuck all? Because this is simple, clear and concise. If you don't have any sound, it still pops up with a little subtitle so you know what it's saying. That's... I really appreciate this game. My god, I could just play this forever. I've got, other, I've got other work to do today, but I could just play this forever. This is something I should really consider live streaming. And yes, I just said that on a video. You can hold me to it. That was really fun. Naturally, it was easier, so we should probably pick a higher difficulty if there's going to be four of us, but that was fun. So yeah, there you have it. That's Helldivers. I think this is currently the best game on the PS4. I'm not kidding. That's not a joke. That's not even me being, Oh, it's better than the order because the order is short. <laughs> I'm serious. This is probably the best game on the PS4 right now. Again, obviously, assuming that you do enjoy twin-stick shooters, because, you know, if you don't like the genre, of course you're not going to agree with me, but, I mean, in terms of quality and how addictive it is and how much progression it has that makes sense and it's 
it makes you want to play more. The game makes you want to play more, but the progression gives you something else to aim for while playing. The gameplay is just simple, fun and challenging. The multiplayer is there as a backup, I guess? If you don't feel like getting boogered like I did. I don't think I'm ever playing a cyborg solo again. All the upgrades and all the things you can unlock in the cosmetic customization, because I'm a nut for that and I don't really know why, is awesome. This is the best game on the PS4 and it costs fucking a quarter of the price of a normal game! Let that sink in. Please, I'm sorry for... I don't know, I don't want to sing this game's praises too much, because then you'll think I was fucking paid off. Fun fact, I wasn't. If I was, I probably would not have been as obvious that I like this game. Although, fun fact, should I ever be paid off to make a video? Not that that's ever going to happen, because oh, who the fuck am I? But if it were, I would let you know. So yeah, I'd love to know if you enjoyed this. I'd, I'd love to know if you'd like to see more of it. I, I did mention, you know, potentially streaming this, because PS4's built-in streaming actually doesn't suck dick. Hi, Xbox One. What happened to that? So if you do indeed want to see me play this more on the channel, do let me know. If you do indeed want to see more of this just in general or all, let me know. And of course, if you want to see me stream, well, then that's something we're going to go for my ass and do. It's going to be awkward, it's going to be awkward scheduling that, because I pretty much record all day, and then when I'm done recording, I'm editing through the night. So... I don't know how to work that out, but I can probably figure out something. Don't take streaming as a definite in the near future, but a definite... EVENTUALLY! <laughs> But barring the usual, hey, let me know if you want to see more of this, I'd love to know what you thought of this, because I clearly loved it. I'd love to know if you think it's as good as I do, because obviously we have different tastes, but I'd like to know if the quality of the game translates through video, because obviously you're not playing it, you don't really have a hands-on how enjoyable it is, but if it's fun to watch, then you should definitely consider picking this up. It's cheap, and it has more entertainment value than most games that are four times the price. And that's not a gimmick tagline, I'm... I'm serious. The same can be said for Oddworld, which is currently free on PS Plus. So if you own a PlayStation 4 and don't subscribe to that, you're a damn fool. The value from that alone, never mind the discount you get on every other game you buy, is just... You're getting the hint that I'm really beginning to think the Xbox One sucks a huge dick. It runs third-party games like shit. It doesn't have any exclusives worth fucking playing right now. And its subscription service is definitely... Definitely second place to this one. Anyway, mini review uh, over of the PS4, which is better in every shape, way, and form because it's cheaper and has better games, even if it's just digital. I mean, this wasn't, this isn't made by Sony, to my knowledge. It's made by Arrowhead. I don't think that's a licensed thing where they develop games for them, but this isn't exclusive at the moment, from what I can tell. Unless it's on the PC, in which case, I didn't realize that, and I'm dumb, and it isn't exclusive. But either way, it sounds stupid. I, I'm not going to call this a system seller, but in my opinion, if I were trying to sell you on buying a PS4, I'd direct you to this game and Oddworld. Neither of which are made by Sony. Neither of which are what you would call typical exclusives. But they certainly make the console worth owning. That and the fact that it doesn't take ten fucking days to install a game you bought via disc. Which, by the way, the Xbox One does. You guys did say at some point after the Shadow of Mordor thing that you enjoyed me doing speech things at the end, so here this is. I got the order, 1886, with this console, because it was a bundle and all the other bundles sucked and it involved FIFA. That can go fly itself right off of the fucking window. If you want to see me do something with that, not that I know what I could do with it at the moment, but I'll take a look, then let me know, because, well, I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense to try and do something with it, right? I mean, sure, I've heard it's short, but... I haven't heard anybody actually complaining about it being shit, necessarily. The ending, and the boss fights, maybe. But the general gameplay, but not really, from what I've been able to tell. So yeah, little roundup there. Please do let me know if you want to see more of this, be it on the channel or not. Please do let me know what you think of it, at a first glance. And let me know if you want to see something from the Order. Because... Again... Why not? So, if you did indeed enjoy this and do indeed want to see more of it, then I think it's safe to say in the not-so-distant future that I will be willingly diving back into hell. And that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please do like it and maybe even share it with your friends. And should you find yourself wanting even more of it, then there's likely a playlist filled with even more of what you just watched. And you can always feel free to follow me on whatever social media you desire to stay ahead of the subboxes that typically lag behind. And hey, if you found yourself enjoying this more than you thought you would, then feel free to subscribe and check out anything else I've done in the past. So yeah, thanks again for watching all the way through to the end, and should you want to watch more of this, I guess I will see you in the next video.